Welcome to another Friday. We're about halfway through May, so uh, good to be with you. Yeah, and good to be with you as well. Hope you're enjoying this wonderful weather. That's fantastic. It fantastic is weather. So um, one of the things, uh, you'll see this in my column this weekend, but we really want to encourage people, we'll have speakers at Mass, to consider um, giving an hour a week to adoration. Um, that's one of the hallmarks of our parish. I would say the two things about Incarnate Word is the Adoration Chapel and the Youth Ministry Outreach. Those are two signatures of Incarnate Word Parish. Um, and, and we've been open, even though many uh, churches have not reopened their Adoration Chapels, may never reopen their Adoration Chapel. Yeah. Uh, ours has been open for the last six months. Um, and some of our adorers, some of them have moved away, some of them have passed away, some of them uh, can no longer take the hour that they've had for years. Um, so we really need the next generation of Incarnate Word parishioners to step up. Yeah. And most of the hours we need help on are um, in the middle of the night. Uh, so I know it's not easy when you have a family to sneak away for an hour, uh, but if there was a time, that may be it, yeah. you know, while kids are sleeping. Um, so please, uh, really do prayerfully consider helping us out um, and, and maybe talking to one of the speakers this weekend if you have questions or ask them the benefits, too. Yeah. I, I've never heard a person say, I really regret signing up for adoration. No, no I've, I've never heard that either. And, um, yeah, I was blessed to grow up in a parish that had adora had an adoration chapel. Um, and just per personally and spiritually, it's, it's always been fruitful. So mm -hmm. uh, we hope that you can consider... Uh, giving of your time. Our time is our most priceless asset. We value it more than money. And to give God our time in that way is, is important. So we really hope that you can uh, consider that um, for our parish and for, uh, yeah, just increase of Eucharistic devotion as well. Mm -hmm. So great. Um, on a totally different note, uh, the parish uh, golf tournament is coming up. Uh, it'll be on Friday, June 4th at the Landings at Spirit Golf Club. Uh, myself and Deacon Funky, actually, we played golf there yesterday. Tried okay. to get a little preview scout and uh, the scout the course. It's in yeah. pretty good shape, so uh, we're excited about that. Um, it's 18 holes of golf. It includes a cart, breakfast, lunch, and awards. Uh, the long drive contest, a putting challenge where you can win $10,000. Uh, closest to the pin and a hole-in-one challenge. Uh, it's $200 uh, per person, but if you register before May 28th, uh, you get the early bird special of 175. The registration link is available on our website, uh, so we hope to see you out there. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be hacking it up. Uh, I'm a I'm a certified sandbagger, as we like to say. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, should be a good time. Hope to see you out there and raise money for our school and our parish. Yeah, and then, and then every year that uh, golf tournament helps improve our school, and uh, you know the school also gets used by our PSR students on Monday nights. So it's kind of an all around benefit so thank you for your support of that yeah. um, fundraiser and we have a walkathon coming up uh, that'll be gosh a week from today uh, and all of us priests and students and teachers we're going to walk in a circle we are uh, for yeah. one hour i didn't know this yes, <laughs> i just read this right here it's the first i know of this surprise thanks yeah. aren't you glad we did this roundup of course <laughs> I, I learned things just yeah. like you so. yeah so father schneier will be walking uh, along with me i don't know if we'll get sullivan i i'm not thinking that'll happen um, but uh, the reason is uh, this is for tech uh, improvements with the classrooms especially desks um, that's something that is sometimes overlooked but um, kids sit in them for six hours a day so <laughs> we think we can do a little bit better on that yep. um, there's also fun things for the priest students and faculty ice cream the bubble bus I think will be there um, if you don't want to sort of sponsor Father Schneier or I uh, if you just want to make a little donation to the cause you can do that on our parish website under walkathon yep walkathon walkathon um, over the next two weekends after Masses, you might notice some members of our parish council outside uh, wanting to maybe interview you or talk with you about your experience coming back to Mass post-COVID. Um, so we hope that you'll uh, maybe share an experience or, or just your own fe feelings about how faith and worship has been for you over the course of the last year or so. Um, you know, they're not mandatory or anything, but we want to you know reach out to other parishioners who might not have come back yet and encourage them to come back through hearing your stories and your experiences. So uh, if you see anybody from our parish council outside, uh, give them a little wave, maybe go over there and talk with them for a minute or two about your experience. And uh, yeah, we'd love, we'd love to have it. 
Yeah, and then um, our parish council, they're really pleasant, friendly people. Uh, I enjoy our meetings every month. Uh, they're just fun people to be around. Your uncle actually sent yep. a, a couple of the interviews he did. They were really good. They're like two minutes and uh, just really neat because you get to know, I mean, I know the two people he interviewed, but just to hear them talk and, and hear their experience of the pandemic is really neat. So we would love to hear more from you uh, to know your experience and, and to get to know you a little bit better. So yeah, stop by. And if you have crazy kids, bring them. That, that's yeah, half we, the fun. We want to know what their that's experience That's half the fun. Of, of yeah. COVID. What about yeah. the kids too? Yeah. Yeah. Do it for the kids. Yeah. Do it for the kids. <laughs> Um, blood drive tomorrow from 7.30 a.m. to 1 in Bollinger Hall, the lower church hall. Uh, hopefully you can uh, step up and give some blood. Uh, also comes with a free antibody test as well, so you can see if, if uh, your COVID vaccine has been working or not. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can schedule an appointment by using the link on the parish website. So you know, hope to see a lot of you out there tomorrow morning for that. And then we have our uh, monthly Feeding Our Neighbors in Need food drive, sponsored by Vincent DePaul, St. Vincent DePaul. And those food bins, um, if the this happens probably by mid-morning on Sunday, the bin in the very front of church, uh, when you first walk in, fills up and then it sort of spills out like an overflowing cornucopia of generosity all over the vestibule. So that we always have another bin over by the side doors yeah. of church, uh, by where the Knights of Columbus book rack is. Um, if you are able to carry your donation a little bit further, just consider that as a, um, yeah. you know. Just, sort of like using both lines at a buffet. Yeah, yeah. And some of our people, uh, their donation. I use like, food analogies for my. <laughs> almost like weighs more than them. And they're like, you know, in their 80th or 90th year. So we want them, you let yeah. them use the close bin. And those of you that are strong and young, like Father Schneier, uh, can put them in the far bin. Yes. Um, just a consideration. Yeah. Uh, finally, at least one other announcement. Uh, obviously, the CDC is. Uh, changed a lot of guidelines within the last couple of days. Uh, and we're aware of that. The Archdiocese is aware of that. They're actively um, analyzing those new health orders along with stuff from the city and the county. There's a lot a lot of parties involved. Um, so well, not parties. Well, not parties. No, no. Yeah. None, of this no is, parties. none of this is fun. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but we, we're aware of that. And the instant that we get anything from the Archdiocese, we will communicate it to you. Um, the, again, the Archdiocese is actively looking at all of those guidelines and then will make decisions based off of that. We haven't gotten anything yet, and this is a little bit after noon on Friday. Uh, but if we do get anything, we will communicate it to you and immediately put them into place here at Incarnate. Uh, we we want to get back to normal just as much as anybody. So uh, trust us, the instant that we get anything from the Archdiocese, uh, we will gladly uh, put into effect here at Incarnate. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, that's my encouragement is... Um we are doing the masks because the archbishop asked us to right. do it doesn't mean that we're pushing something or even no. that it's our personal preference uh but we uh you know we have a boss too yep. so we're we took vows to, of obedience we're trying to be yeah. uh, a good good sons of our archbishop father um but yes we hope very soon that we will get permission to ease that and be able to yeah. to see you uh, and see you yawning during our homilies. Yes. Uh, we've kind of missed seeing that. It, it doesn't. We don't always know when we're connecting or not because yeah. it's disguised. So. It, it is disguised. And, and Father it, Schneider doesn't know. I, what I don't. I don't know too. Like. I don't know what like half of all of your faces. Yeah. So that would be nice to be. Yeah, all he's seen is your beady eyes staring yeah. at him. That's all I know of you for so. a year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's talk about our readings. Yes, it's the Ascension of the Lord, mm -hmm. uh, big feast day, and. Um, I'm planning on talking about Jesus' separation from his apostles. You know, he, he left when he could have preached and walked around this earth for much longer. You know, he was only 33 when he when he died. And I think it's there's there's a beauty to our Catholic faith that our faith is not in human beings or personalities, even Jesus' own personality. Uh, our faith is in God. And we aren't that's why we don't get attached to uh, people, you know, I think there's a tendency in modern Catholicism, especially with the internet, to latch on to specific personalities, even wonderful people, uh, even wonderful personalities uh, that, that, that communicate the faith to us. But we have to remember that our faith is far bigger than that. And Jesus gave us an example of how to do this uh, by leaving us, um, that our, our faith has to be a little bit stretched beyond merely just being attracted to a person uh, or, or a personality. Uh, our faith is in God. 
So that's kind of where I'm leaning at. I got a little bit more of my hot later right mm -hmm. today. Same tomorrow. here. Same here. Um, I'm going to maybe dwell on the at the end of the gospel where he talks about you know if you preach in my name you're going to be able to pick up serpents, drink poisons, um, drive out demons. Maybe kind of to sometimes we don't always almost think of it as like well Jesus said this but what does it mean? So just looking at that and saying why did Jesus say that? And does it literally mean that we should go and put our hand in a snake box or drink things that we shouldn't drink? Uh, why did he tell us that? Um, so I'd like to spend a little bit of time reflecting on that and, and get to the source of what he actually says um, is, preach in my name, yeah. let me do the big miracles, um, which mm -hmm. is maybe sometimes we try to do the miracles ourselves and forget to preach uh, his mm -hmm. name and his resurrection. So I'm going to kind of play around with that. Um, should be fun. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. It's a good idea. I'm not going to steal it from you, but it's a good no, idea. You, it's yeah. There's maybe, maybe not this weekend. Yeah. I'll steal it from you <laughs> next year. Make a note. Yeah, make a note. We'll do it next year. So, well, get outside if you're not outside. Yeah. Watch out for the cottonwoods. I see them. I was running in Creve Core. Those little puffy things. Oh are yeah, going in my face. Yeah, in my not, mouth. Great. Uh, not great. So if you have allergies, take a. What do you take for allergies? I don't. Know. What what what? Yeah. Zyrtec, Zyrtec uh, or, or Benadryl. Uh, Benadryl, yeah. yeah. But get outside because these outside. are gift. Uh, these days are gifts from God. We want to. Uh, Before it gets to 95 degrees, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, we don't like that. So yeah, enjoy the nice weather while we have it. All right, and we will see you next week. God bless. Bye.